What's crack a lacking your boy, bro schmo? Just in case you did not know, so we're back for another offseason. We're doing the Jets free agency. We're also doing a mock draft. We're going to take a look at, at what their 2020 starting lineup will look like at the end of this. I'm going to admit this was pretty hard, and I feel a bit unsatisfied with it, but I'll let you be the judge of that. Uh, this is what would happen if I were in charge of the team. So. This is not a prediction or anything, uh, what I think is going to happen. This is what I would do. I need that coffee to stay energized. Uh, go ahead, become a bro. Subscribe, leave a thumbs up if you enjoy the content. I'll have more of these. Um, pump, like I'll try to keep pumping these out. I actually, I think, I think I'll be able to hit every, every, I don't want to, I don't want to get anyone's hopes up. I think I'll be able to hit every team before uh, free agency starts, actually. Um, I kind of I've put together a system to where these are easy to edit the overlays are easy to do and yeah honestly probably the longest part is trying to figure out what to do with the team Jets took me a minute because let me tell you um, it was tough <laughs> but uh, I got draft stuff all throughout the channel if you're interested in the draft I bang with the draft so let's go ahead let's get in let's talk the Jets Sorry cap, 50 million, excuse me. So going into this, my plan is to get, I kn okay, not a lot of people are gonna like this, but, cause I know, I know there's a, there's a jet fan base like that, that they solely want to go offense tackle in the first round. And I get it. I understand. You got to protect Sam Darnold. I'm I'm really just going to put some band-aids on that wound through free agency. And then hope someone like Chuma Doga or maybe someone we draft later in the draft kind of develops. I'm just going to put some ba band-aids on that boo-boo. Because I plan full, ho full heartedly on going either um, Jerry Judy or CeeDee Lamb. Get Darnold a playmaker that is the plan at least um as far as uh everything else i'm hoping maybe to get an edge in the draft uh because spoiler alert we're not gonna bring back jordan jenkins but let's go ahead let's talk about the releases i got i got rid of tremaine johnson that's no big surprise avery williamson uh i i actually i think the jets have something better in Blake Cashman. I know he was all right. He got hurt this year. He was okay. But um, I honestly, I think him and CJ Mosley are set there. Daryl Roberts, I mean, honestly, the secondary, there was parts that needed to just go. Uh, then I got rid of also Jonathan Harrison. Offensive line, like I said, didn't look great. Josh Bellamy, I don't even think played last year. I don't know if he was hurt. Or whatnot. I don't think he took a snap last year, though. But we were paying him like a million some, and I was like, "Hey, I'll cut where I can cut." Uh, as far as re-signing, I brought back one, one guy. It wasn't Robbie Anderson. It was Brian Poole. I want to see if this guy's a one-year wonder. I didn't want to throw him under the franchise tag, but we. It looks like we could get him for cheap, three years, twenty-two million. I think that's a pretty good deal to have him come and play in the slot again. I mean, he played very well in that role last year. Uh, it's far as let's just go into free agent signings there's a few you're gonna like a few you're not andrew this is what i meant by putting band-aids on the boo-boo andrew whitworth man i know he had a down year last year but he actually played much better at the tail end of the season he's still a very very quality tackle we're just getting him one year 11 million but it's much better than what what the jets have had in the past so i don't mind that uh we're giving uh, Joe Hag a um, short deal uh, to kind of shore up, hopefully, uh, the left guard position. And Austin Blythe, this is kind of where I was like, man, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Because he has, the, he played, he filled in for Brian Allen uh, for the Rams last season at center. And he, he did okay. He's mainly played the guard position. So it gives him flexibility uh, if we want to eventually move on in the future from Brian Winters. Uh, so, giving him three years, 17 million. Because 
Oddly enough, it looks like he's going to be highly sought out, um, or at least much, much more money is going to be thrown at him than I thought it would be. Uh, Philip Dorsett too. Got, got. We need. I wanted to grab someone a receiver, but I didn't want to break a lot of cap space because I broke a lot of cap with uh, this next free agent signing. So I got him, um, knowing that I'm eyeing either a CD Lamb or a uh, Jerry Judy. So we got him, and then the big free agent signing is James Bradbury, five years, sixty-seven million. That's his projected uh cap space i think i think i liked what we saw i liked what the jets had another guy another rookie uh whose year was kind of cut short i believe he was a rookie last year bless on um austin uh let's let's verify that i don't want to just speak out of my butt i believe Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, he was. Thought so. Alright. So I I I don't mind putting him in at the number two. We could always draft someone. Still kinda eye and edge. He is my final free agent signing, 26 million. Let's us, you know, be able to spend here and there. Um kind of just plugging up the roster spots. So honestly, the offensive line is not looking it doesn't look great, but I mean I think it looks better with Whitworth. Hag, uh, Blythe, Winters, and then Adoga probably filling out, uh, filling out there at the right tackle. Uh, so, yeah, I guess let's just go ahead. Let's get into the draft. Let's see what we can do. And let's switch. Hey. All right. So, right now. Scenario worked out perfect. Uh, Isaiah Simmons being left on the board is kind of wild. Uh, actually, it's very wild. It's tempting, but I'd rather get a receiver. Because <laughs> we're kind of already set at linebacker and safety. So I'm going Jerry Judy. That's who I wanted to fall there. So I like that we could still address receiver later in the draft. But we, we've, given, we've given Darnold some weapons. Uh, and the offense, the only offensive tackle I was willing to take at that pick was Josh Jones. Look, just went off the pick 26. All right, so now we're looking. I personally am looking at. Oh, let me bring this down. Oh, no, I guess I'll leave it up. I'm personally looking at. Um, the tackle position or at least i'd like to or not the tackle the edge position let's let's take a look at who's there okay so nobody i'd take you could say trey adams i think he's a third rounder robert hunt actually could play guard and that's not that wouldn't be a bad pickup maybe we get him the second um just curious of what the wide receivers are left but the edge i like julian akawara I mean, he's going to blow the top off the combine. Oh, Curtis Weaver is here. Okay, I'm the GM. I like this. Oh, I just wish he played more stand up. This is tough. I love Weaver, man. I love Weaver. Just don't know how much he would actually fit the system here. I can't turn my back on that. I've been I've been praising and preaching Curtis Weaver for this whole time. I'm not I'm not gonna turn my back on that. Alright, so we kind of filled some holes there. I do want to maybe look at Jalen Johnson. What are you doing? You ain't supposed to be there. We might go corner. Um I'm kind of content with our corners. I'd rather at this point focus solely on the offense. Jets pick already. They got to pick that early? Okay. I think so. All right. Um, 
All right. Jordan Elliott, I don't believe, is going to be there. Jalen Johnson being there is really, really tough. Um, tough on me. Hard to ignore. We're going to go. Let's look at the line. Trey Adams is still there. Uh, Matt Hennessy's still there. Uh, there's a couple of good guard prospects still here. Uh, I think we almost have to go. Uh, honestly, Nain, I think, has way higher upside than um, Adams. Let's take a look best available. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We, can't, we got our slot already, so I'm not going to really look at Hamler. John Simpson, they have him rated pretty high. Ah, spoiler alert, I don't. <laughs> uh, how content am I at with our edge that I might double down? Get someone I think maybe can be a stand-up. Man, Jalen Johnson's hard not to go with, man. I mean, I don't think he's going to be around here. So, I, I, yeah, I don't think he's going to be around for that pick. Noah. Oh, gosh. I think it's Ig... 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 Bagani. Imbagani? I think that's how you say it. He would be an interesting pick here. Nice raw prospect uh like i said i didn't mind double dipping and getting jalen rager here with J jerry judy we don't got a lot of size though it's a bit concerning oh that's not true it's, i don't have bad size you know I could say chase claypool i don't think he's worth that high tyler johnson's still here and this third pick's pretty tough um Jonah Jackson won't be here. Damian Lewis might be, though. Damian Lewis. I know that doesn't show up the tackle spot, but... <laughs> That's hard to pass on. Alright, so... I'm probably still going to be in the wide receiver. Um, wow, two third round picks, eh? Hmm. Ben Jefferson's interesting. Tyler Johnson, though, I think I would go that over. Over Van Jefferson. We can still go with the uh, tackle here. I mean, it's I don't mind double dipping here. The running backs are kind of jumping off the board. Uh, edge. I don't know. Jalen, you're not gonna be here, Jalen Johnson. So quit teasing me. They even had Troy Pride Jr. go ahead of you. Wild. Um, Darnay Holmes is interesting. Uh, uh, I think we just double dip for real, though. Double dip on the offensive line. Because, I mean, we got another project there, so that's perfect because, um, we have Whit, uh, Whitworth. I do want to address the playmaker position once uh, again, and then I'll probably focus then more on um, maybe another corner, um, maybe some edge linebacker. Oh man, this is tough. So I'm, I'm very content with how this has fallen. All right, now I'm looking Jalen Johnson. 
Jalen Johnson, Tyler Johnson. Still here, man, still here. Jonah Jackson, you're not gonna be here. <laughs> Neither is Natain Moody. <laughs> A uh, quick look at the corners, Darnay Holmes, I'm tempted, uh, but I'd rather get another playmaker here, a receiver, oh, nah, 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 we don't need tight end that bad. Alright, so double dipping that area, uh, I'll probably, uh, I do want to keep checking at edge, because I want more of a stand-up guy, like, I like Curtis Weaver, but kind of afraid they might just play him on the line kind of like a 3-4 and maybe even a little more outside uh let's take a look at guys that can do do that Alex Highsmith actually ooh that's tempting That's tempting. I do want to keep looking at running backs. Anthony McFarland be nice. I don't know why. Oh, and it's our pick. Anthony McFarland. Alex I. Smith. Ugh. I don't mind ignoring corner again since we spent so much money on it. So grab Alex Highsmith. We're just addressing some holes. I think we did get good to get some playmakers. Um, I'll keep an eye at running back. Oh man, this is tough. All right, we're in the six here. We're in the six. It's our pick. Take a look at the running backs. Rodney Smith, some guy I actually took a look at. What was it? Friday? Friday or Saturday? I think it was Saturday, because I got done watching XFL. And Ronnie, uh, Ronnie Smith's got some interesting tape. I don't know why I'm looking at these guys again. Uh, as far as the receiving prospects, nothing jumps off or receiving the cornerback. Nothing jumps too much off the board here. Nothing. I mean, there's Reggie Robinson. That's kind of interesting. Oh. Uh, Darius Anderson, actually, I'm not going to lie. That looked the most mouthwatering to me. So, uh, we could look linebacker a little bit. Willie really Gay. I mean, honestly, with his academic uh, suspension, he could fall. Gosh, this is going to be such a good draft. There's just so many good players. All right, there's, so there's a couple of guys I'm looking at corner. I mean, it's late round, too. So I don't mind r risking the biscuit. Somebody I think that might have high upside. Oh, that is tasty. Don't go. Don't go, my boy. I'm like watching his name. Deadly. Oh, please say there's... Please say the Jets have a seventh rounder. I bet you they don't. My guy's still on the board. There he goes, though. I was I was eyeing Reggie Robinson. Okay, maybe they don't have a seventh rounder. That's fine. We did a good job. We did a good job. Taking a gander at the draft. Jerry Judy, uh, Curtis Weaver, Damian Lewis, Lucas Nain. Uh, Tyler Johnson. I think all honestly, those first five picks are money. Uh, Alex Highsmith is a good guy, maybe to develop. Darius Anderson provides um just another uh, another playmaker, you know. Especially if uh, 
Le'Veon Bell is not long for the Jets. Here's the offense. Uh, we, Sam Darnold, I think we did a good job of surrounding him with a um, few more weapons, especially with Jerry Judy. Philip Dorsett's a good, deep option, as well as uh, Jamison Crowder, his Mr. Reliable to him. And then you still got Ryan Griffin. You still have um, Chris Hurd on there. So Tyler Johnson's in the mix, a guy that can play on the outside, can play slot. Darius Anderson there to help out with Le'Veon Bell. So I think we did some good stuff. The offensive line, I do really honestly think we did a good job with it. Andrew Whitworth right now there, sitting there. He's going to hold it down for the next year. And maybe we can develop uh, uh, Lucas Nyane to take that spot. Damian Lewis comes in, immediate starter. Austin Blythe, a guy that he's got some versatility. Um, if he doesn't do well at center, we could kick Brian Winters. Um we could get rid of him next season and then move Blythe over there. Chuma Doga, a guy hopefully develops in year two. On to the defense. Quinn Williams, he should he should be kind of he's a, a he's like breakout candidate. You know, McLen uh Lendon, he did he's done a fine job. Kyle Phillips was a monster last year. Curtis Weaver comes in. I don't know if he quite fits what uh they would want on the edge in greg williams's uh system in his uh defense but we're about to find out but he does have the flexibility to pop in on the inside cj mosley blake cashman like i mentioned i like those guys a lot james uh bradbury you got austin you got pool may adams hopefully the secondary is much improved but that's it for the video let me know how we did hopefully like i said this one was really tough something i'm i was a little I don't want to say I, 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 by no means was I really satisfied with this, but I think we did good drafting that it gives us some flexibility going into 2021. But till next time, you be easy, my friends. Later.